picking up a th third win for North America. Thank you so much, TSM. I want to ask you, because this looked like a close game at times, what do you think about this gap between North America and EU? Uh, I think the European teams just adapted much better to the change that happened last year when they removed the double side stone meta. I think they play much more fast paced, they fight a lot aggressively, and they really push the limits to the, to the max. And the teams are more like cautious and they don't really take the risks so much. I think the European teams just, they're just better both fingers and they have better macro as well. And it's been a while since you've played uh, many international teams. So playing against some of these EU teams again, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, beating Fnatic is nothing new to, new, new, new to me, you know, so I, I, I feel in my comfort zone here, but I, I was pretty disappointed about us getting, like, smashed by G2 and Origin. It felt really bad. Also, I wanted to beat Perks and Mithy, but didn't, <laughs> that, that, that didn't happen. So, but, yeah, this tournament is a learning experience for everyone. I think it's, it's good that we get smashed like this because it's an eye-opener eye for any as a region that we're just bad. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we can laugh, but we are really bad, and... The games that TL and C9 are winning, are, <laughs> their opponents are just trolling. And mm -hmm. overall, EU came to the tournament, and they're actually just trolling in draft and not even like trying half to win. So it feels bad, but it's a good eye-opener for us to improve for Worlds. And then really quick, you have the 2v2s coming up. I believe we're going against C9 first. Thoughts going into that? Sneaky in lane, Lul? Uh, no sneaky. No sneaky, it's oh, Blabber shit. in lane. <laughs> 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 Any thoughts on Blabber? Uh, I mean, he played a nice Aatrox today. Um, I don't really know. I, the 2v2s showdown are fun, but I don't really know how to play like the, the whack shit, like the Heimerdinger and, <laughs> and stuff. So. Uh, so I think I'm not the best at this kind of stuff. So yeah. All right, well, wishing you the best of luck. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I am joined by Nuke Duck after quite an explosive game to take down Cloud9. We were just kind of chatting as you guys went to Champion Select. You were thinking, wait, they have their jungler going to be AD, but he's not even AD. How did you guys kind of correct that situation? Uh, yeah, we, we expected, you know, some like crazy fighting lane bot, but then um, they just picked Severe and Niski played the Severe. It was like, uh, it was very weird, but when we were very comfortable when we saw that was the situation. And of the three teams, we've heard that Origin was one of the kind of slower to get their victories in Europe. What do you kind of think has allowed you to step up the pace here, or are you just kind of playing more free? Um, I think we, we don't play that slow in Europe. It's kind of like a little bit more of a narrative, but at the same time, I think we are we're a little bit better than Cloud9 and TSM like today and yesterday, so we can just close quicker. Awesome. How, how do you kind of rate Blabber's first time in that mid lane on the Aatrox? It seemed like he had you in the beginning, or were you just kind of reeling him in? No, no, he, he played pretty well. Like, he had the Rome bot. Like, he's, he's a bit stronger than in the early game, and uh, he abused it well with the right dive bot or the Rome bot. But uh, after that, it was, uh, yeah, it was hard. But yeah, he did pretty good. All right, Nuketuck, final question. You guys have had so many great victories here on the Rift Rival stage. What has Origin and yourself been doing kind of in the off time here in Los Angeles? Uh, just, uh, like, go to restaurants or, uh, like, go to the beach, play volleyball and stuff like that. I like it a lot here. Awesome, very good. Well, congratulations and best of luck. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great cast on the day. I am joined by Xmitty after their victory over OG. Another win for NA. Seemed a little bit more loose for the team. You guys seem feel, uh, like you were feeling pretty good coming into this one. Yeah, we were trying to have fun as much as we can. And uh, yeah, playing Sonoteric is, I guess, pretty fun. <laughs> uh, we saw online, Amita, you kind of said that EU has you guys in a, a few of the points across the game, and that was just the truth. What, are the, what do you think for NA are the low-hanging fruits where we can start to attack those points of weakness and get on a, a level where we're just smashing EU? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're pretty good at team fight, I think. <laughs> Not team fight tactics, but uh, just... Mm, yeah, of course. But of course. We, we're pretty good at uh, just like being really good as a team, and our macro is improving day by day, and playing against um, EU teams, whether or not maybe serious or not, um, we're still learning a ton. Right, Alex Smithy, thank you so much. Congratulations on the win, picking NA up a little right, bit. Uh, let's send it over to Avli, who is standing by for an interview with a top five Pike player from G2. Not bad. <laughs> top five. Congratulations on the win, Yankos. I mean, the question going into this game wasn't, are you going to beat TSM? It was, will your Pike be better than Ocelot's? So how do you think you did? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that my pike was pretty better, I mean, much better than Ocelot. And since Ocelot played yesterday, I think I had to play it at that point. I mean, our owner played it, and like everyone from my team plays it. So I just, I guess, first time with it. 
And I think coming up on our analyst desk, they're going to be uh, ranking the top pikes on your team. So what do you think the rankings are? Um, well, I should be the first one. <laughs> and then uh, probably Wunder and Miki and Caps and Perex. Yeah. Great. I like that. Well, thank you again. And congratulations. Analyst desk, do you agree with his rankings? Thank you very much, Avli. Yankos' uh, pike was impressive. Uh, perhaps more impressive was him bringing his own mic to the interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> kind of pulling that out of nowhere. I, I love that it's move. All about humanity.